Hi, here's just an update video of what I've been doing with my dolls over about the last two weeks. So, here you go. Here is the Just Like You number two doll that I have. I'm sorry about the lighting. I've tried to turn it right up on my computer, but it's as bright as I can get it. Um, so basically, I have cleaned off all the marks off her skin for her arms, and she had a big white one on her face, which is now gone. And I tightened her limbs. Although this leg is still a little bit loose, but they're much better than they were because they were like Kaylee's, which are still crazy loose, but we'll get to that. <clears throat> so I also can washed and conditioned her hair. Um, I have played with it again since, so it is a bit frizzy again, but it is looking much better, if you can see. Um, I also curled it a little bit, um, and I might make a video on how I did that. Um, it does need doing again, so I'll video it then. Um, it's still got a little bit of curl to it, which is really nice, and I've put this twist in her hair, um, which you might see if you've watched my um, entry to the t-shirt competition that AG Overseas fan is doing, which I entered. I um, don't have any t-shirts, so they were dress designs for me. And also, she finally has a name, and I can't remember who it was, I'll find out and put it in uh, the description below. But one of my subscribers suggested that her name should be Abigail. And I told her my mum's name is Gail. So I thought that was too similar. But that's going to be her second name. So her first name, her full name, is Nancy Abigail. Which I think is a really cute name. I've always loved the name Nancy. And I think she looks like a Nancy. Okay, so let's get on to my Kaylee doll. So here's my Kaylee doll, and not that much has changed about her since you last saw her. Um, I've put her braids back in. I don't think they're quite the same as how they are originally, but I quite like them like this. Um, she does need her hair um, conditioning, because seeing what it did to Nancy's hair, I think it would look really good on her hair as well. Um, I've cleaned up all the marks off her skin as well. There weren't as many. There was quite a big one under here, which is now gone which is really lovely, and she does need her limbs tightening, as you can see. I've also found her these little socks, um, because it's getting really cold here in England this time of year, in October, so um, I thought, because I haven't got any other clothes for them at the moment, um, I thought I'd find her some socks, and these are actually baby socks, which were my son's, and they've actually shrunk a little bit in the wash, so they're actually perfect AG size, and I think they look like school socks, so if I ever get a school outfit, they'll be the school socks. So, I've mentioned before I don't know the name Kaylee, and I was thinking of renaming my Kaylee doll Laylee, but I thought that was a bit of a silly name, so that might be her nickname, but her real name is going to be Eliza. Well, I say that. I keep swapping between Eliza and Elsa, so if you prefer one of those, if you could comment down below, that would be super handy, so I can just finally decide whether she is Eliza or Elsa. But either way, her nickname is going to be Laylee because I think her middle name is going to be Kaylee, just to keep the doll's real name there. So we have, I think Nancy and Eliza sound nice together as like a group of friends. Um, and Laylee and Nanan, if that's their nicknames, or Nana, I, I can't decide. Um, um, and another thing that's happened in the world of Kaylee, if I sit her down, Eliza, um, I made her this hat. Um, it's crocheted, and I was inspired by uh, the hat that comes with Julie's accessories. It's like purple crochet, but this is more like a beret, more like something that maybe Kit would wear. Um, so I'm just going to put it on. So here it is, Ooh, on Miss Eliza. Uh, you could either wear it right down over the front like this, or she can wear it down the back. Oops, not that far down the back. Let's put it back on, um, which is how I wear berets. I just think it looks really cute, even though she's wearing a summer dress, it looks kind of hippie, and which is what my Eliza is, she is a hippie. Um, she's kind of crossed between the personality of the original Kaylee character and of Julie Albright, who's one of my favourite dolls as well, who I don't have. <laughs> but there it is at the back. So these are my girls, and that's what's been happening with them so far since I've had them for about two weeks. Um, I'm super excited to make them more clothes and buy them more things. So one last thing I forgot to mention. This is currently where my American girls are sleeping. I say sleeping. Where they spent some, most of their time. They're lied on these pile of cushions. Um, 
which isn't great, uh, but it's the best I can do at the moment because it's the most space I have. Um, but I'm hoping to make them a little den in my bedside table. If I can hold this and open it. It's sort of full of junk at the moment. <laughs> There's their clothes in there and some other things that um, I need to clear out. But they sit in there side by side perfectly and their feet just come to the door. So they can't lie down but they sit up in there. And we're going to decorate the walls and I might try and make some sort of futon for them to sit on that then folds out to become a bed when the door is open. So if I make anything cool for that I might do some tutorials but uh, yeah it's a work in progress. <laughs> So that's it for now. Bye.